They're going to have 2,500 of these things available starting on Saturday for people to ride. 250 are Lime Scooters. Nico, it's something new. Everyone's, uh, you know, some people are freaking out. Some people are excited. You, you can assure me that I'm going to be able to ride this thing, right? Absolutely. We're going to give you a little safety demonstration, but you're going to be fine. All right. I'm going to be riding these things. We're going to talk more about that safety in a bit. These scooters have some people super excited, some people a little bit worried, too, to hear to break it down as Nico. You're from Lime Scooters. Nico, thanks for coming on here yeah, today. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. So let's walk through it. This starts on Saturday, right? 2,500 scooters through 10 different vendors. Walk us through what people could expect. Yeah, I think it's really exciting. We've been talking to the city for a number of months about bringing new, equitable, uh, sustainable, and affordable transportation option to the city. We're really excited about it. The city has set up a pilot area west side of the city. Uh, there'll be 10 different companies uh, working their scooter systems right. throughout. We're excited to be one of those companies. It should be a great program. All right, so Lime Scooters, you talk about those priority areas. We're basically talking about west of Halstead, not in some of the congested areas. So it, how does one get on one of these yeah. scooters? Not yeah. physically, but I guess just signing up and getting ready for this thing. Yeah, well, the way you get on a Lime Scooter is pretty simple. You download the app, go on the App Store, Google, Android, all those work. Download the app. You simply would then look in the app itself, find where one of our scooters are at. You would then unlock it. There's a QR code directly on the scooter, so you scan your phone right over it. So you just put the phone there, and then put you're your able phone to right take here, control. Then okay. It takes control over there, and then your credit card's directly linked. It's a dollar to unlock, and then 15 cents per minute. That's incredible. So, and that's the other thing that's really got people some excited against some worried is the dockless system. So they're like divvy bikes. We know we kind of put them in a place, and they're they're centrally located throughout the area. These you can leave. Where? Yeah, yeah. So what makes this such a great experience for the user is the perfect sort of end-to-end -end user experience. The user is able to take it and park it directly where they're going to. So they mm -hmm. don't have to worry about finding a dock station at their ultimate end destination point, which makes it a very seamless transportation option. The piece that we really focus on is ensuring that users really know what proper parking looks like. Okay. And that is obviously not blocking sidewalk accessibility. Right. The furniture zone of the sidewalk next to a bike rack or near the bike rack okay. itself. That so, makes sense. And, and we do a lot of training within the app. So the first time you download the app, you're going to go through a tutorial of what proper parking looks like. And then on the scooters themselves, on Saturday, you're actually going to see placards that show what proper parking looks like. And safety is obviously such an important thing. Absolutely. That's got some people like, uh, but it, 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 these things go how fast? They go 15 miles per hour. And we cap Which them. sounds like a lot to me. It sounds like a lot, but we actually cap them because that mimics a lot of biking behavior. Uh -huh. And so they interact really well with cyclists. All right, we're going to get on the scooters in just a little bit. We're going to take a safety and all sorts of things. Nico, thanks for breaking it yeah. down, and you're going to show us more. I'm so excited to get on this thing. We're back here. I got my Lime scooter. I'm ready to go, right? Hey, John, let's get you a quick safety tutorial. We'll get you on it. Helmet first, safety oh. first. All right, safety first. Oh, I'm ready to get on this thing, but first we got to talk safety. Nico, safety is help us support to, uh, to Lime scooters, right? Absolutely. Safety is our top priority as a company. And how does it work in terms of getting ready to ride one of these yeah. things? Yeah, so when you download the app, you'll go through a tutorial, and it shows you a couple important things. One, wear a helmet. Two, ride it in the bike lane or the shoulder side of the road if the bike lane doesn't exist there. And don't ride on sidewalks. Those are really some of the key elements of ensuring you have a safe ride. But it'll also show you how to get on the scooter and how to kick and, and get going on. If someone likes a little more hands-on uh, demonstration, what can they do? Yeah, something that we're going to be doing that's very unique in Chicago is what we call first ride events in every ward where the pilot exists. And what that is, is we're going to go to talk to local aldermen, talk to community organizations, and talk to residents within the wards about how you actually ride the scooters. Okay. Show them a little bit. We know that it's a new technology, and folks might, might want a little bit more comfortability with in getting onto it. And so we'll go through, do a quick demonstration with them and get them accustomed. Speaking to of demonstrations, get that helmet on, yeah, Nico. Absolutely. Talk us through how you get yeah. this thing started. So helmet definitely goes on. That's a big, important piece I of like this. I like it. It's sleek. It Green, is. yellow, yeah. white. Perfect. Yeah, it's exactly how it should work. Um, and then, you notice here we've got a beautiful bike lane. Right. It's the exact type of place you should roll. Ride it. You kick the kickstand right. off. You're going to give it a couple quick kicks of momentum to All get right. it going. Tro toggle right here. Brake on the left. Those are the important pieces to know. All right. Nico's going to ride this away. Look at him go. This thing goes up to 15 miles an hour. And guess what, guys? He's doing really well. He's in the bike lane. All right. As I toss back to the studio, I promise you, I'm about to get on this sucker and try it myself. John. Think you're going to be okay? You better put oh, that helmet on. Nico, you guys. Put yes. that helmet on. I will have the helmet on. Don't worry. I'll get the helmet. Don't worry. Hey, jolly good day, everyone. Just on my Lime scooter, having a great time, a safe time at this new form of transportation. There's going to be about 2,500 of these suckers moving about the area starting on Saturday. I'm going about five miles an hour on my Lime scooter. Slow and steady. Nico, good way to start, right? It is. You look like a natural on that. Uh, well, I am a natural. Thank you for saying so. <laughs> All right, Lime scooters, as we mentioned, it's great to you know want to be able to do these, but safety first, so download the app, right? Absolutely. Download the app. You'll go through a tutorial, and then we'll be providing safety education events throughout the pilot area all summer long. You mentioned
mentioned the pilot area, just to kind of uh, talk a little bit more about that. It's a lot on the west side, southwest side, and the northwest sides of the city, right? Yeah, and there's a geofence set up. So if you actually take the scooters outside of the pilot area, the scooters will come to a slowdown and then they'll stop so they don't get to... That's good that they don't area. come to a sudden stop. They, won't they come slow to a sudden down. stop. And that's obviously to keep, you know, we, we talk about congestion on the roadways and a lot of people are worried about it. But man, everyone's always worried about new things. And I think it's a matter of we want to share the roads already. We already have that mission in place. And yes, it'll be a little different to see these things on the road, but people get used to it, right? Yeah, and I think one of the exciting things about the pilot area that we're operating in, and this is a brand new mobility transportation option in, in parts of the city that don't have, quite frankly, a lot of mobility options. And so being able to bring these to the to new neighborhoods is going to be an exciting part. Yeah, we're uh, in Garfield Park, and I got to say, as I've been riding this thing around, you guys have seen, people have literally stopped, rolled down the window and said, when can I get one of these? Because a lot of people in some of these neighborhoods, the only option they have is to drive. They're driving a mile, two, three miles. They'd much rather have an ability. And not only that, it's green too, it's electric. Yep, absolutely, sustainable mobility option, I think that's an important thing of it. Something that we've seen across the, the globe and where we've been operating is a third of these trips are replacing previous car trips, and that's oh, really exciting. That's great stuff. Guys, I gotta say, if I can ride it, you can ride it too. Just make sure you're very safe and download the Lime uh, Scooters app. That's the uh, best way to do it? Absolutely, and wear a helmet. Uh, wear a helmet, so cool. One thing that I am not afraid of anymore is riding scooters, and I know a lot of people might be, but they shouldn't be. They're fun, they're safe, if you use them right, Wee! back to you.